Let's generate test data using the Xmachina library. If you come here to their GitHub readme, it says Xmachina makes it easy to create test data and associations. And that's usually my experience with it. It's pretty good. How do we get started then? Installation, let's add this to our dependency. That's the first step. So I created this Phoenix application here, just generated with Phoenix generators. Um, it's a dumbified, stupefied version of a blog. So I have one context, it's Phoenix 1.3, yeah, which is a blog context. And it basically has uh, the resource post, which has many comments. And I have the resource comment here, right? So posts have author content title and comment has name and body. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is come to our mix file and add the dependency. Okay, so if we go back here, next thing we need to do would be this, but it says you can skip this if you're on Elixir 1.4, which I hope you are, otherwise you need to put in application here, X Machina. Then um, put this in your test helper to ensure it's started. So we go back here and says test helper, and we just put this here. The last thing is to create a factory. Right, so it has this module factory, which is where it's gonna create stuff. We're gonna come here and I'm gonna create this in test support factory.ex, which I'm gonna just space here. My application that I created is called my blog. So I'm just gonna replace my app with my blog here from the example. Uh, we don't have a user, so I'm gonna comment this out. Um, I'm gonna comment this out as well, and we're gonna call this not article but post, right? So it's gonna be our post factory. So the idea here is that you have this module that has these functions, and these functions generate the stuff for you. So now we come here to our post just to get the right module name so that our factory can create the right structs for us. So what we do here is just put the map as it's supposed to be. So title, we do have title in our post, but we have also comment, content, and author. So let's do that. And author, John Doe. Cool. How do we use this now? We come back here. There's a section on tests, right? So the way we do is this, we import the factory not test. So I'm gonna come here to my context test, the blog test. Um, and here I've got rid of most things that Phoenix generated, just let this post for the sake of brevity. So the basic idea here is that you use this instead of fixtures in Phoenix, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the fixtures here. And instead of this, we use the factory. So I'm gonna import my blog.factory in here, we use its function. So how do we use this? There's basically two options. You either use the build functions or use the insert. Build doesn't use Acto, insert does. So let's use Acto. You can come here and say insert post, right? Let's just go ahead and inspect this to see what's going on and add a label here. We can see here that our posts were generated fine, right? So we can use this in our test now here, right? So our post here can be used for whatever test you need to do. So the other thing you can do is write some attributes to our post, right? So we put in a map here and let's open our post again. We have author content and title. So let's say I wanna override the author. So instead of getting this um, from the factory here, John Doe, right? Which is what we got here. John Doe, I wanna get something else just for this particular case. So I can come here and say outer, just me. And then I pass in here as the second argument and we'll see that now I have overwritten the author. What we can also do is associate one resource with the other, right? So here we see that our post has many comments. So if you come to comment, belongs to post. So when I want to create a comment, I want to tell the factory what post this comments belongs to, right? So let's come back here to our factory. Let's put in our comment factory, the right namespace is myblog.blog.comment. And then we have, what do we have? Body and name. So body is great, name, 
Johnny Doe. And here we pass in what is the post that this comment belongs to. So let's test this out. Let's get rid of this. Comment now is insert comment. So now we can see that we have a blog comment, right? Which has a post attached to it. And this post has been also generated fine. So that's pretty cool. The other thing you can do is you can associate a specific resource to it. So let's say I'm also generating the post here, right? Post is again, insert posts. But I wanna say that, well, it's not any post. I want you to associate this to this particular post here. So you can also do that, right? So if we inspect here, um, this post and run this again. We'll see that we have a post here, which is ID 153. And then on our blog comment, it's associated with this particular blog post. Another thing we can do is build a um, list. So let's get rid of this. And in instead of insert here, uh, I'm going to say comments and insert list. And the first argument is the number of elements. So five comments belonging to this post. So we can inspect this now. So we can see that we generated five comments here, all belonging to the ID 158. So the last thing I wanna show is that we can dynamically generate some stuff. For example, let's say we wanna generate different body for each and one of the comments that we're um, generating here. So this was something that was here in the user and it's basically this sequence. So we come here to the body and we say sequence of body is this, but now we want its great number. And then we pass in a string interpolation with the first argument of the sequence. So if we do the same thing we were doing here now, right? A list of five. Now you can see that our blog posts have been generated with dynamic content on the body. So it's great number three and it's great number four. So that's very, very useful. All right, check the video description for the source codes used in this video and also the git commit with precisely the, the changes that we made throughout the video. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time. Take care and happy brewing.